What is good, YouTube? It's Aaron Simmer back again, and I am playing my favorite game of all time, Brigandian. However, this is the sequel, the Grand Edition. I've dabbled a little bit in it, not too much. Came out about two years later than Legend of Orsenia did. Only in Japan. However, there's been an English translation project by the fans and all this have made this possible right now. So we're going to check this out. Uh, we definitely only play on King. I mean, come on. Hardest difficulty. I just love this game. There's nothing else like this game out there. It's like a mix of like a turn-based strategy game with an RPG with like a risk map. All in one. <sighs> Norgard is definitely my favorite faction by far, but I hear Leona is the hardest to beat the game as. And I'm all about a challenge here, so... I think we're gonna go Leonia. Leona, however you say it. Is this your path? Yes. I'm going to go ahead and let you guys see the opening here. Forsania, a land of powerful runes. The long war against Norgard. So Norgard was the one that was at war the whole time. Until Kador and Zemkis were like, hey guys, let's do this. However. Even if war covers the world, even if all for Senna burns to ash. Kador, what a badass. Look at him back there. Fight on like a demon. I will rule it all. He's going to rule it all, man. Betrays his lord, King East. So Logris was the capital. There's some cool little events in this game. Like if you play as Lance, the son, to the king, and he takes Logris back, he becomes King Lance, not Prince Lance, and a bunch of little things like that. They also did some balance changes I read up on from this version to prepare to Versania, the original. A nerf to Zemkis mainly, which is really needed. What a lovely day. Yeah, it is. It's been a year since the prophecy chose me to be the queen. <laughs> I don't believe in all that hocus pocus stuff. I'm sorry, Q-Elf, dragging you into all of this. Hey, don't get me wrong. You shouldn't worry that I became a knight just for your sake. I thought it over and decided it was a good way to grow stronger as a man, too. <laughs> don't feel bad about it. Q-Elf, thank you. I still don't feel very confident, but I'll never be afraid of anything when you're... Friend-zoned. Friend-zoned. <laughs> <laughs> Cut out the flattery already. <laughs> Cut out the flattery already. Alright, let's skip through this talking here, boys. So I like how they did the English voices. Like This is all fan done. This does not have English voices. All of this was by the fans. They made this version of the game from the Japanese version. Pretty impressive. Will we ever get a remake or a sequel to this game? Probably not. Organize. So this is what I'm talking about here. We are this small nation over here, and we must conquer the world, the domain. So you can see the whole map and how much we have. Purple is the Isgaris Empire, the new people that took over the capital, the bad guys. Blue, Norgard up top there, they were the former enemy of Numilica, and Numilica now it's its shell of itself over there on the left in the red.
So what I like to do the first turn is no one attacks the first turn, so I like to take advantage of that. And I like to move all of my knights to the main castle in order to get them organized and their monsters the way I prefer on them. Check out the summons here. Hmm. So we got rocks there. More rocks. More ponies. Some griffins. Alright. So that's the thing about Leona, really, is they don't have any dragons or any access to anything like this, and their mana is so weak to start, too. It's like pathetic. Let's go ahead and pick up a rock since we can't get one in the capital. We're going to go ahead and throw that on one of these leaders so it's there when we execute. Did I move you guys? Yeah. Alright. See, so you can go on quests if you're knights. Like, I can send whoever on a quest. That's pretty sweet. So there's the organized phase. You got all your stuff organized. Now it's the attack phase. And this would be the turn when you would invade another castle if you wanted to. Because we have all these mountains protecting us over here, really, we're pretty well off. We only have two borders that we need to protect. But anyways... Yeah, so see, no one attacks the first turn. But after this turn, it's free game. Ah, uh, this is when Venard tries to get an alliance with Leonis. She's like, nah, I'm good, bruh. Not really exactly how it goes, but pretty much. And then he's like, well, if you don't ally me, you're my enemy. And she's like, alright. So at last we finally meet. I am the king of Norgard, Vaynard. I am Lioness, queen of Leonia. Leonia. I will get straight to the point. You have two choices. Leona can swear allegiance to Norgard or V War. Bernard's a badass too, by the way. I like playing as Norgard. The White Wolf. Um <clears throat> That guy was a joke! This Keyloff guy, he's got such a big mouth. So one of the main things we want to focus on in this playthrough is we want to get Keyloff high level. Because I heard he's a monster when he's high level. He's only level 3 and he has 203 rune power. Like, it's crazy. But what team do we want to rock with? Hmm... You can also change the classes of like all the knights. Like if I wanted to make an Ishfist into like a Pyromancer, I could get like major abilities with him. But I don't really like messing with that. I feel like it's kind of cheating in a way. So anyways, this is what I do. I throw all my monsters in storage and then I organize them. So when they're all in storage and I start organizing, I will talk to you guys again. Alright, so here we go. I officially put all the monsters into storage here, and now we're going to make some squads. And I'm trying to decide who I want to go with who on a squad. I feel like Keyloff, Ashmet, and Paternus, and then Leonis, Ishvis, and... Hmm. Let's go Charlene. Yeah. Alright. I like to make sure everybody has some heals going on.
I'm trying to give everybody, you know, a pretty balanced squad here. All right, so we need a pixie on that squad. Uh, we're gonna need a pixie on that squad. Golem. Bibliolianus, the other one. Alright, Keyloth can fit one of those. And the Scorpion. That ought to do for now. So Paternus and Loyanus are going to be pretty stacked. I hate giants because they miss so freaking much, man. All right, not bad, not bad. And now, so those will be our two main offensive squads, but we're gonna need a defensive team as well. So we'll start working on these two projects here. Summon them some griffins. Um, yeah, we'll go with some centaurs too. And a mandrake, why not? All right, so now then, we're going to move Loyanus, who would I say now? Ishvis and Charlene. To Damus. Then Keelopotermus and Az Schmidt. To Harajan. We will go ahead and move you both into defensible positions. And quest. We don't want anyone sitting around, so you three for now can go quest. Alright. Um Yeah. Execute! And right after you move, you can't attack. See, it's all grayed out. So I have to wait till next turn to attack. But someone could very likely attack me. Will they? All right, so here's my quest. Let's see what happens. Uh-oh. I think we're getting crushed, people. Hey, we got an item. The full plate. Nice. All right, so Gowan and Boleyn, they're both people that get recruited into the army. Always nice to have some more knights around.
Alright, so is Landenburg over here? No, it must be Nether Castle. I want to check out that item we got. The power tonic. I think it's equipment. There it is, the full oh, plus six defense, yo. That's lit. So we're trying to just Omega key off. Can he wear it? Oh, he cannot wear it. He's not a knight. So you gotta be classed a certain way in order to wear it, I guess. But we can give him that item, the power tonic. More strength. I'll take it. Can we... Do we want a class key off? Nah. Alright. So our knight... Is going to get that full plate. Unless... Ooh, Charlene can wear it. But the ice drive one's just so OP. Do we really want to get rid of that? I mean, come on, look at that. Whew. Yeah. So, Landenberg gets the full plate. Will we ever use Landenberg? I don't know. summoning some monsters because I kind of want to use Landenberg now with that full plate. Oh, Landenberg, you're a joke. You can't even carry it. There we go. All right, so let's see here. Um, We're not gonna need them for another turn or so, so let's go ahead and quest them. Same for here. All right, now let's see what they got for me. Hmm. They have Loki. Wow. And a level five salamander. Yeah, these guys aren't hackers at all. I think they did that, made the game a little harder, putting that addition in. And definitely makes the game harder, let me tell you. Because I can't do that. It's not normal to build a class that high this early. But we ain't scared. Oh, his Garus beat me to it. What are these two-man attacks? All right, here we go, Humber. Humba. <clears throat> they have a pretty strong position there, so it's going to be kind of difficult.
What happened to your eye there, bud? Alright, let's think about this here. Hmm. So this left side looks pretty strong. This right side, not as much. So I'm thinking we'll send two up the left and one on the right. Man, these guys are so slow. They're going to take 10 turns just to get there. I don't want them to engage yet. I want to wait for my front line to get up there. See, we're like on turn four, and I'm just now getting up there. It's pretty bad. we go. Go ahead and harden up our rock here. Oof. It's not close enough yet.
There we go. Give me some action, boy. Critical. Get out of here with that shit. That hurt a little bit. Oh, critical. Get out of here, Gunglin. All right. Drop kicking him. Oh, are you kidding me, bruh? Fifty five percent. Got him. Perfect, this is what I wanted. Spear throw on your face. Yeah. Yeah. Protect me. Let us move back a square to get out of thunder range. And let's heal you. All right, Loyness's turn. Don't mess this up. get you into a little bit better position. Let's heal up his fist. Make your move. All right, I mean, not gonna save you there, bud.
That's gonna hurt. Missed me. Saw that one coming. It's not going to save him, though. Heal you. Very nice. Very uncalled for, sir. Throw another spear. All right, he's mine. Prepare yourself, Gongolin! R.I.P. Gongolin. Going to heal up that giant. Rude. Yeah, you better retreat. Oh, Charlene. Yep. I don't think we have the damage to kill that Hydra. But can we turn him to stone? Damn.
Alright, let's not get our pixie one shot. Come on, buddy. You know you want to retreat already. Yes! That's how you pick up your first victory with the queen. Got me a senator, too. Raisin quest. The carnage knuckle, huh? Hmm. So because of that other invasion, we lost our initiative and didn't get the invasion off or key off. Unfortunate. All right, well, I think we're going to stop this Let's Play right here on this organized phase. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more Brigandian, give this video a thumbs up. And let me know in the comment section, have you played Brigandian? What do you think of it? Because I love this game, my favorite game of all time, like I said. We, I might play it through it, I might not. I'll see how much you guys want to see it. So thanks for watching, and I will catch you guys again tomorrow.